What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be sharing some torque hole highlights from my GC2 run. Now, this torque hole is a dual mode torque hole. It has the Terrifier charcoal eruption, which it can blow things back with under Trick Room. But it also has Helping Hand, so it can set the sun for some of these crazy sweepers. Fluttermane, who gets a speed boost, Ogre Pond, who does crazy damage in the sun, and Raging Bull, who gets the special attack boost, and just have them blow things up. But anyway, let's get on to the battles. Dragonite, Iron Moth, the Intimidate Landers, Iron Hands, Porygon 2, Fluttermane. That's a cool team. It's a really cool team. They got a Trick Room mode. My Trick Room mode's better. They got a Dragonite, just chilling. Um, how good is Torkoal? Torkoal's pretty good. They have a couple resists, but getting Trick Room up would be nice. Ferrigraph would be really good against the Dragonite, against the Iron Hands. Honestly, not bad against the Moth. Okay, is Rillaboom for Rigrath the right call? Rillaboom's not bad either. Uh, I really need something for the Dragonite though. Maybe I do Raging Bolt for Rigrath. Double neck lead. Yeah, really stick my neck out on the lead. Well, it could also be a Fluttermane lead. Then I have flexibility, I don't have to go straight Trick Room. If they lead Porygon too, I don't have to play the game. saying Rillaboom, but I don't know if Rillaboom is actually any good here. Like, what does it beat? Fluttermane? Okay. It does beat Fluttermane. It's kind of a big deal. Ogre Pond isn't dead. Yeah, I think these are the right four. Hopefully I brought them in the right order to do everything I need them to do. We will see. Oh, good card. When I'm on ladder, no one has a good card. People have good cards in this, it seems. The double irons. Alright, they're trying to double iron bash me. Got it. They wouldn't sludge wave, right? Also, what's their item? No booster on that moth? Hmm. That's weird. I do not know what I need to do here. I think I need to set Trick Room. And I need to chip that moth. And this might be a Flutter Sack. That's more than chipping the moth. That's half a moth gone. And yep, it's a Flutter Sack. Okay, that gives me the momentum I need. I love it. I'm totally cool with that. Dazzlingly Moth. Alright. Yeah, 100% it's Torkoal now. <clears throat> and your only fire resist in the back is Dragonite. <laughs> Love to see it. Erupting time. Turtle time. Time to go. Oof. Yeah, dude, you messed up. He's, he's like, uh-oh. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, Dragonite? The sleepy? Yeah, okay. I'm glad you swapped in. You can take this from full, but after this turn, you're not going to be full. Maybe you're like Assault Vest or Multiscale. You can take two of these. I don't know. Clippity clap for the turtle. Alright, buy everything. Okay, Dragonite took it pretty well. Could be multi scale. I could always pair it with a uh, Dazzling Gleam next turn. 
Or if it is multi-scale, it'll just go down. And that's Iron Hands? Yeah, I want a Helping Hand again. Even if Dragonite lives, like, okay. Damage is done. Text from anything either. And it's a double delete. Yeah, that was multi scale Dragonite. Goodbye, Dragonite. Sometimes that just happens. It's what the turtle's made for. And Fluttermane. The speed boost. Yep, I've got a clap for you later, even if you don't. And we got two whole trick room turns. Yeah. Yeah. Psychic interruption. Good game. Okay, here we go. They got the Blood Moon Bear. They have Indeedy and Gallade. Lando T. Iron Bundle Fluttermane. This person's cooking. Yo. That's sick. I look at these, I have no idea what to do. I would love to have a Fluttermane with a speed boost right away. But I would also like to have Torkoal in the back if I could. Because Gallade and he could get up Trick Room. But they wouldn't set up Trick Room in front of Torkoal. They would do something more devious. Uh, getting rid of their terrain could be nice. And Rillaboom in general is nice. They've got none grass resists. That's cool. And then not, not Bolt, two ground types. For Rigraph to block priority isn't useful, they don't have any. So it's Ogre Pond. My own priority. Yeah, that works. Ogre Pond can knock out probably all of those in the sun with Terra. But I'm going to burn Terra on Fluttermane instantly. As is standard. Arceus with a moon in your... Okay, that's a cool, that's a cool shot. You did well. It is the Gallade and Needy, but... Okay. What's my answer to Gallade and Needy? How about... Moonblast Eruption. No Terra. I don't think they would wide guard, because... What would be the point of that? So I could Dazzlingly. So I'd rather Moonblast erupt. <clears throat> Not burn Terra just in case I need it later. It's just Wide Guard. That's fine. That means you're not doing anything. You are living this Moonblast, though. Impressive. But what are you doing? It's gonna psychic? Okay. That's cool, I guess. You weren't psychic seed in DD. Yeah, I expect that this might be a follow me play and deleting the Torkoal. But honestly, that wouldn't be the worst. They assumed I would go for double, um, double spread moves. Yeah. 
All right, they're staying in. That doesn't surprise me. I expect it just to be follow me and then delete the Torkoal? Maybe? It will clap for the Fluttermane. The Wide Guard again? Okay. Well, this is overkill now, sorry. <laughs> but I didn't think you would do that. You can just hit my Torkoal again if you want. Torkoal's not the sweeper. You just trick room. My eruption's not very strong, I'll give you that. But it's not nothing. Alright, how effectively can I stall out this trick room? Not very. <laughs> Eruption's weaker than Flamethrower here, but at least it can hit the bear. And then I'll have a Trick Room turn. Not a Trick Room turn, a Fake Out turn to stall Trick Room. Unless they're like Terra Ghost, which is weird. Should be normal. I expect this to be either Hyper Voice or Blood Moon into what was Fluttermane. I don't know if Rillaboom can take that. I don't know if anything can take that. Good damage, I'll take that. You were eject button this whole time. Well, there goes my fake out turn. Yikes. Well, first of all, let's see what even happens here. It's just Blood Moon. That is really good for me. Uh, and it's a crit. I don't know. Now we don't get to know if I would have taken it. I don't care that I died. I care that I don't get to learn. Alright, I bring an Ogre Pond here so that I can click Grassy Glide. They'd probably protect, protect. They would probably expect a protect. But if I Grassy Glide Eruption, that should knock out the bear. Ooh, Flamethrower might knock out the bear alone. Maybe I should instead try that. They might not expect the power of Flamethrower here. They might not care about the terrain, they might rather get a hit off with Landorus. Okay, no, they did just go to the terrain, so I made the right play. They want their terrain back. Oh, and they protect the bear. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No more healing on Torkoal, either. Alright, check the board state. Two turns Trick Room, one turn Sun. Two turns Trick Room. Likely a hyper voice. It's likely Ogre Pond doesn't live. There's not much I can do about that. And it is just to follow me, so I had to erupt. 
annoying. <clears throat> Come on, crit! Ooh, that did good damage, but not enough. And it's Blood Moon. Wait a minute. This might be okay. Losing Sun sucks. But this is not over. They protect the bear. And the Indeedy. They could follow me away a Moonblast next turn. So I cannot click Moonblast. <clears throat> as badly as I want to. It has to be Gleam Eruption. And there's one more turn of Trick Room. Okay. As bad as this looks, this isn't looking too bad anymore. All right, time to do some Landorus counts. Max attack stomping tantrum won't knock out my Fluttermane. Helping hand dazzling gleam with Terra should always knock out. Their best play is Scarf Rock Slide. I don't know if they're Scarf though. They are. Oh, they have Earthquake. Helping Hand was the right play. But that means they're Scarf, which means there's no way they survive this. They would need a Salt Vest to survive this. If my calc was right. Yes! Yes! Oh! I love beating the bear. Oh, yes. Woo! Good game. Whatever that name is. That's a cool team. How Knight, Sinistra, I love Sinistra. Gouging Fire, Galapdos, and Ting Lu. This is a sick team. If I'm gonna lose something, I wanna lose to this. This is so cool. And I'm gonna lose a lot. I've already been losing a lot. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. So much that threatens Fluttermane, but Fluttermane is also so good. Oh, they're gonna lead something that can take out Fluttermane for sure. They don't have Intimidate. Oh, they have so much priority, too. Yeah, this is a Torkoal game. I gotta go for Rigoraf. Set things up for Torkoal, somehow. And then a Fluttermane late game. Who do I want to put next to Farigarath? Because they could double in with like Zapdos Gouging Fire, Zapdos Chen Pao, Ting Lu Gouging Fire. So many things they could double with, so I have to lead Fake out. I have no choice. And if I want a Flutter Main Endgame, I gotta bring it so all of my pieces are decided for me. Hmm. Now they lead Sinistra! That Sinistra's, like, weirdly placed. You got all these physical attackers, super offense, and then that? Your team doesn't seem that concerned with Trick Room in the first place, so I don't know if it's gonna be an anti-Trick Room. No card, boo! Is it gonna be an anti-Trick Room Sinistra, which is what I'm most afraid of? I don't think so. I don't think this team needs that. King lose Aptos. Gosh. I trick room. 
and I fake out. seconds to decide. <sighs> my, my problem is I've seen Covert Cloak Zapdos before. Alright, they're gonna Terrastalize right away. They're Ting Lu. Into Fairy! That implies to me that you're not gonna take out Rillaboom. May that means you're just not Covert Cloak, maybe? Well, you didn't knock out Rillaboom. <laughs> Alright, now this is the part where you try to stall out Trick Room. And I try to get my Rillaboom killed. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna Psychic Zapdos. I don't know if it knocks out. Ooh, I could glide and Psychic it. That should knock out. It's not really the threat, though. And I want to get my Rillaboom killed. So I'm gonna Wood Hammer Ting Lu. Rillaboom, you did great. You took that hit, which is surprising. You didn't have to. It was alright. You did your job. Trick Room is up. Protect from Ting Lu. Just a double protect then? Yep. Okay. They're gonna do their best at stalling out this trick room. I get it. That's fine. Now, seeing my play, you've got some plays you can make. Uh, you have a Psychic Immunity. You have a Grass Near Immunity. Twice. I'm gonna switch over to Dazzling Gleam. Still would hammer the Tinglu, though. Like, yeah, you could go into Dragonite on that slot, and then I don't knock out my own Rillaboom. Caught the Chen Pao, at least. That's cool. Love that. Knock slide. Knocks out Rillaboom. Fine. That's okay. That's perfectly okay. Turtle time. Now, of course, you both protect this turn. But whatever. I'm committing now. That Rillaboom going down without getting any damage on Ting Lu is... Mm. At least it's not Assault Vest. So we'll get the big eruption into it, probably next turn, they'll probably protect here. And then a big moon blaster gleam into it later. Hopefully the combo of those things can knock it out. Um, we just set up Sun, so it's gonna be here for a while for Fluttermane to have its speed boost. <laughs> But the Zapdos wasn't Scarf, it had Detect, so don't even need that, really. No Protect from Tinglu. That makes sense. I don't think you can knock out Torkoal, though. I'd be more than happy to do some big damage on this Tinglu next turn, too. Woo! Wowee! Holy moly.
Last turn of Trick Room, last turn of Grass. Swap in Fluttermane, and even though Eruption's weak right now, it's still gonna knock both of those. Yeah, this should work. Now, if you read this swap in Sucker Punch, amazing. Beautiful. Congrats. Does that even knock out Torkoal from here, though? Okay, a swap on Chen Pao. I'm gonna save that for later. Into Gouging Fire, fine. That'll take this really well. Ting Lu just protects. Decent damage on Gouging Fire, honestly. All right. They're both gonna attack Fluttermane. They desperately need my Fluttermane gone. And with Ting Lu on the field, Fluttermane's not gonna be able to knock out Gouging Fire. Do I sack for Rigorath? Just to take out Ting Lu. I think I do. I think that's the play here. Ooh, Ting Lu swaps. You're gonna give me something else. I'm okay with taking Chen Pao. Chen Pao was actually one of the scarier things you had left. You don't even knock out for Rigorath. All right. That means I could go for another Trick Room. I, I don't think I should, but I could. All right, you got Zapdos. You got Ting Lu. If I can get that Gouging Fire, into Dazzling Gleam range, I can win that way. But I have to make sure Sun doesn't run out. Although it's not a big deal if it does. I could take I could take a heat crash if there was no sun. Now you heat crash for Rigorath and Stomping Tantrum. Torkoal can take that, right? I hope so. I really hope so. And also you could like double Torkoal, maybe? That would be annoying. But you shouldn't feel that threatened by Torkoal anymore. Just prevent the trick room. There you go. Now just leave my Torkoal alive. I just need 1 HP to do what I'm doing. That's enough. Yeah! Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, a crit. Okay. I didn't need the crit, Torkoal. Y you did great. Didn't need to do that. And it's time for Fluttermane, the chosen one, to clean this all the way up. Check the status. Last turn of sun. They protect Gouging Fire. I just gleam. Is there anything I should click other than Helping Hand here? No. So protect your gouging fire. Yep. 
That way I lose the speed boost when the sun drops. And they can, if they're booster energy for speed, which a lot of them are, then they can get ahead of my Fluttermane speed-wise. But let's see. Okay, you got that. Speed heightened. Sun off. Yeah, I live a heat crash now. And if I don't... <laughs> if I don't, I don't think I win this. Um, don't need the helping hand. Eh. Oh, wow, that left hand wasn't clapping. Torkoal, are you alright, bro? He crashed, we live this if it's not a crit. Thank you. And should be good game. Does Gapdos get priority moves that hit ghosts? We know you're not Scarf. <sighs> and if you do, I can flamethrower. It's fine. Welcome back, Zapdos. You are super cool. But I also think you're in flamethrower range anyway. So good game. I mean, it's not over. They could be Bright Powder. They could dodge all the attacks. It's never actually over. And they're thinking. They might have something. I don't think they have anything. This was a good game, though. This was close. Down to the wire. I got the slight edge making some good reads, but they played well. Alright, bye Zapdos. Good game. But get a trainer card. Like, come on. Alright. Wow, cool team. Cool team. Whimsicott, Indeedee Female, Chiyu, Bundle, Urshifu, Landorus. Not a fan of Landorus. Not a fan of all the ways they can deny Trick Room either. As much as Torkoal could go crazy. Maybe just Flutter Torkoal. That might not be the worst. An Ogre Pond Rillaboom in the back? They seem pretty good. Rillaboom is good against, well, to have when they have Indeedee. Ogre Pond in the sun can go pretty crazy. I, I don't feel like I'm going to get Trick Room up, but it depends on what they lead. They just have several problems they could cause. And leading Rillaboom doesn't feel good when they have Indeedee. And they got a good trainer card. Oh, a little, little sleeping guy. Alright, who do you got? I might have been able to get Trick from up against this. It's Ruin. Drought. Photosynthesis. And then speed booster energy. That's not good. Icy wind into a fire move probably knocks out Fluttermane. That's only if you're Scarf Chi you.
you might not be Scarf to you. <clears throat> I'm not gonna put all my eggs in one basket. Ah, oh, maybe I should, but I'm not going to. I, I want to help in hand this dazzling gleam. But in the but in the chance they are Scarf Chiyu, and they get the icy wind into some fire move combo, I'd be in so much trouble. Alright, they're terrestrializing. Oh, maybe it's fire. Yikes. Uh, Torkoal should be able to eat that, though. I hope. Oh, no, not of your specs. Okay, you're not going down to Dazzling Lane, that's for sure. Oh, your bundle's slow. Wait, do I take out bundle? Yeah. Okay, I kind of like that. Then it is Heat Wave and you connect both, so I'm losing Fluttermane at least. Good lord. Lord, oh lord, oh lord. And my way to get around that is have Power Gem Fluttermane, honestly. That's that's a change I would make. Everything else was EV'd for the Icy Wind, but I never clicked the Icy Wind. Power Gem could do well on this team. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna lose my terrain immediately. What are my options here? I have no Terra. I could choose to Spiky Shield and lose Rillaboom. That doesn't help anybody. Ogre Pond goes first, crits. Rillaboom dodges, high horsepower. Okay, you don't be Scarf. I get the crit. I dodge the heat wave. Why are none of the things I'm saying happening? Alright, good game, whatever. <laughs> Chiyu just does that sometimes. Good game. How many games just like that did you have where you actually miss a heat wave, though? I bet a lot. Okay, Urshifu, Ndidi Hatterene, Gallade, King Gambit, and Torkoal. That's an interesting team. Can I blow it up? Maybe. Maybe. Frigraph in the lead will make them nervous. Fluttermane in the lead will destroy something. Torkoal in the back will counter sweep them, potentially. And Rillaboom to get rid of their terrain? Raging Bolt to have something that doesn't die to Torkoal? It can also take an Iron Head? Am I really going to approach this with no terrain control? It's really scary approaching this with no terrain control. But Rillaboom doesn't really do anything well. It does well into, like, Indeedee, Hatterene, Gallade. Maybe if that's a Water Urshifu, but Bolt does fine if it's a Water Urshifu. Uh, <laughs> Alright, it's Trick Room match. The Frigriff on lead, at least, will make them nervous, but that might be bad for me. Oh, they've got a cool trainer card. Because when they're nervous, they'll make weird plays. And weird plays are hard to call. It's indeed Hatterene. I'm going. Mm, let's see. Does Indeedy have the Psychic Seed? It does. Not gonna knock that out. 
So it's just Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam. Oh, and they're tearing. That's not good. Unless they're just trying to take a Shadow Ball. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yikes. Well, Trick Room's not going up. But... Fluttermane's not gonna live this turn. Good damage, though. Okay, fortunately, they might be in psychic range. So I can Thunderbolt their Ndidi and Psychic them. They might be in Psychic range, that's not a guarantee. Maybe I Thunderbolt Hatterene just in case they don't follow me. Then I'd be worried about Protect Trick Room. I don't know. They withdraw Hatterene. You predicted the Psychic. Are you for real? Well, you didn't get Trick Room. But does that really help me? Now I want Trick Room to go up and I can sweep with Torful, maybe. Uh, it depends on their last. If it's their own Torkoal. It's Gallade! Hmm. Now don't show me Protect on King Gambit. Nice. Ah, oh, not nice. <laughs> You had to do that? You had to live on that HP? Oh, Sword Dance isn't gonna get you anywhere. Alright, they probably... I can't say probably. I don't know what they're going to do. They've got so many options. Wide guard. Trick, trick room is off the table. They won't click trick room. Delayed is going to attack. Do I risk not attacking King Gambit? No. But they psycho cut. Ah, jeez, this is hard. Oh, this is really hard. They have so many options. This... Gallade is so cool. Okay, well, that's not good enough. Because they attacked with King Gambit. <gasps> they doubled it! Oh! <laughs> no way! You had all the options and you do that! Yes! Oh, that's so good. That is so good. I mean, it's technically not over. Psycho Cut crits can probably knock out anything they want. Thunderbolt into Hatterene. Flamethrower into Gallade is what I'm gonna lock in.
expanding force could probably blow up both of us. So I need to attack with the Raging Bolt onto the Hattery. Because that one will move first. Yeah. Hmm. Hatterene protects. Okay, you made the good play. And then you have to Oko Bolt. Which is hard to do, he's very bulky. Hmm, you didn't do it. Because, uh, that's Torkoal. Torkoal can take a hit. Alrighty. Weirdness is gone. I'll just Thunderbolt you, and I will Earth Power you. And we got it! Alright! A dub versus that Trick Room team. That Trick Room team beats me like half the time. Okay. How Knight with Entei. Clefairy! First one I've seen. Fluttermane and Water Ogre Pond. <sighs> okay. Lots of priority. Great for Farigarath. Gonna lead Farigarath. Gonna also lead Bolt. Bolt seems good here. I want Torkoal because I might set up Trick Room. And then probably Fluttermane because I want something for the Dragonite. I want something fast. It's immune to extreme speed. Even if Farigraph were to go down. They have options for eliminating Farigraph. But having Farigraph on the field makes Thunderclap a lot easier to click. Yeah. I wonder if... Okay, no, Helping Hand Thunderclap isn't going to knock out Assault Fest Entei. Oh, Crown. Nice. Good card. Good card. I'll take it. Cool hair. Alright, Clap does not take Entei if they are Assault Fest. Which on this team, I think they would be. That seems like the item to have. Uh, they'd probably Snarl, maybe. Oh, I think I go for the Trick Room. Oh, do I Trick Room Protect? Do I Terra Trick Room Protect? Could they be clicking Outrage? They could. Oh, I don't know. This is scary. This is a scary situation to be in. <laughs> I'm thinking they might snarl outrage. The problem would be, it's entirely plausible that their Dragonite is slower than my Raging Bolt. Sacred Fire. And outrage. Ooh, and it went into Bolt. Ew. Yikes. Alright, Dragonite, I believe after that you're free to do what you want. I need Chip on, like, both of these badly. I think I'll Psychic Entei and Dragon Pulse the Dragonite. It's unlikely they would want to click Outrage again. In that case, maybe I should have doubled Entei. But if it's the Assault Vest set that I think it is, then I don't think a double would knock it out. And I just need Chip. No, well, if it's Assault Vest, I need a lot of Chip. Okay, they do swap Dragonite. Into Fairy. So I'm not doing any damage to their Entei.
or their Clefairy. And the Stomping Tantrum into Farigarat, huh. Trying to read a Torkoal swap or something? Just cover for that? That's cool. <laughs> Maybe I Torkoal swap now. Try to Thunderbolt the Entei. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna click. Maybe they're not afraid of Raging Bolt. This gives me a Protosynthesis boost, which is nice too. Ooh, a helping hand? What are you going for? Yikes. Decent damage. Sacred fire on the floor. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna double end tape, assuming it goes into Clefairy instead, but still think it's the play. No, they're helping handing. All right. Oh, psh. okay. Oh, a crit. Oh, yeah. No, Entei, you're not strong enough. That didn't do anything. All right, Entei's gone. I'm trying to clear things for Torkoal, but clearly Torkoal is no longer the sweeper. The sweeper is going to be Fluttermane. All right, status. Last turn of Trick Room. We still have a whole Farigraph remaining, though. And they have Dragonite last. We have two fairies that are immune to extreme speed. I like that they have Dragonite last. It's the last turn of Trick Room. Maybe it's time to eliminate Clefairy? I could see them just protecting both, but I can't see them just protecting Clefairy. I have been unwilling to target Clefairy until now. Yeah, Terra Water, you're definitely gonna wanna click follow me if you're gonna go Terra Water. But also, what damage are you doing? Are you just gonna knock out Torkoal? Cause that would give me a swap. It is just follow me. So my targeting did not matter. Hopefully this can knock out Clefairy. Clefairy's real bulky. Ooh, great damage, Torkoal. Yeah, Clefairy's gone. Oh. Oh my. Two turns of sun. Sun massively helps me. Farigraph could set Trick Room back up, but that doesn't help me very much. We still don't know the Dragonite Bolt speed tiers. I want a flamethrower. I want to bring in Farigarath and protect. If I can get Trick Room back up, I could maybe safely Thunderbolt the Overcon. Ivy Cudgel into that slot, that's fine. I might even live that. Nope, not if it's a crit. Okay. And an outrage. Got it.
All right, Fluttermane, hit that Dragonite with a Moonblast. Hopefully it's an inner focus one. So it dies to Moonblast. They could use Follow Me. Which case I would want to Thunderbolt the Ogre Pond. And we'll find out the speed tier. Maybe. Dragonite lives that. Ogre Pond throws an Ivy Cudgel. Fluttermane does not live that. We outspeed the Dragonite. Thunderbolt knocks out Ogre Pond. We get outraged and we lose. Oh man! Doubling Dragonite might have worked. They have no clo choice but to outrage, so this is unwinnable. Ah, man. Good game, though. If I had doubled Ogre Pond with Thunderclap. Yeah, we could. We would have won that. Ah. Well, I didn't know. They could have used Follow Me. I c you can't risk the Thunderclap there. And they, they have to click Outrage. It's impossible to win. Ah, uh, good game. Chiyu Fluttermane, Tornadus, Iron Hands, Ogre Fire, and an Urshifu. But they won't tell me which one it is. Who's my best answer into Chiyu Fluttermane? Is it Raging Bolt plus Verigorath? Get a big thunderclap on somebody? I like doing that. Raging Bolt is a good lead against most of those. Uh, if they go with like fire, they could stop my Trick Room pretty easily. But if they don't, Torkoal can sweep. Torkoal can actually sweep here. And then finally, presumably Trick Room won't go up. That makes my Fluttermane okay. It makes Ogre Pond okay. Rillaboom is not it. Unless I save Terra for it, which I won't. On this team, I tend to Terra turn one. Fluttermane is okay. Ogre Pond actually has a lot of things that knock it out. So maybe Fluttermane is the way. Fluttermane has a lot of things that knock it out too. I don't know who the right fourth is. But I'm gonna pick Fluttermane. Fluttermane's always been good to me. Fluttermane's just coming off some clutch survivals. So, maybe this will be good. Okay, good card. Good card. Hondor is a cool Pokemon. Wish it was better. Yu Yu? Okay, Chi Yu and Dershifu. I can get Trick Room if I want. I'm pretty sure. Do I want it? I think so. Yeah, I think I'd take Trick Room. They gave me a lead that allowed it, so I might as well do it. Just cost me Terra. I don't usually pop this Terra very much. But if it can get Torkoal into a good position, then I'll do it. Snarl. Okay. Get blow. Uh, Perigraph's at half already. Minus one Thunderbolt. Does almost half. Alright, that plus Dazzling Gleam should do it. I'm happy to just do that now. Even though my mons are at minus one. 
take the KOs while you can in Trick Room. Because it'll be Fluttermane cleaning up. At least I think Dazzling Gleam plus Thunderbolt takes the GU. Urshifu could just be Sash, but they'll probably protect or swap. They know I have Dazzling Gleam, and at minus one, that doesn't change the count. Right? A Terra. Which Terra? Urshifu? Wait. Okay. That doesn't really change much. I kind of hope you knock out for Rigorap so I can bring in Torkoal. Good damage on Chi Yu. Broke a Sash if you have it on that guy. And Chi Yu's gone. Good. No more Snarls. Now Poison Jab my for Rigorap, please. Just make room. Wicked Blow. Gotcha. You know better. Get blow again. Are you choice though? You didn't protect when protect would have been a good play. I wonder if you're choice. I could double into you. If you are. Ogre, pond, fire. Well, I need Chip on that for Fluttermane, so I'm going to Dragon Pulse the Ogre Pond. And Psychic the Urshifu. I don't want to get caught by one of them protecting. And I'm okay with both of them surviving as long as one of my Pokémon goes down. They do have Protect on the Urshifu. It's not a double Protect turn, though. Is there any chance it's a Swords Dance play? Good damage. That should be Shadow Ball range. Intentionally not taking KOs. Only two turns of Trick Room remain. Impressive. Doubling the Urshifu slot. Just protected. There's not much you can do. And you can't sucker punch as long as Perigraph's still alive. Okay, they swap. There's probably something that can take this. Iron Hands, maybe? Palm Differ the Great. Iron Hands. Okay, made the right play. That's cool. Importantly, though, you just protected, Farigaraf is still alive, and I'm getting Torkoal on the field for one turn of Trick Room. That feels like a Salt Vest, but we also got Snarled, so I don't want to say for sure it is. And I get one Eruption, and this one Eruption is going to be so big. If this Eruption turn is so big, you should go for the double Spiky Shield. I would not even be mad. That is the correct play here. Go ahead. They didn't even go for it. And they lose two mods. All right, Torkoal. You played your best for Stall and Trick Room, but uh, I just needed to do one thing. Weird case of Life Orb actually helping me because it was able to kill my own bolt. I'll 
I'll just attack. If I get some damage on this, then Fluttermane can clean it up. <laughs> you're not gonna knock out both of these mons. You're not gonna knock out any of these mons. Yeah, you're not choice. We saw you protect, so we know we're not, you're not choice. Okay, that's about right. And bye bye Good game, Woo Woolau Su. Woo Woolas Woolasu. Dershifu. Alright, we're back. You made it. If you made it this far through the video, you probably liked it, so why don't you help me out by leaving a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, there's the rental code for you. Try this team out if you like it. And I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.